Hello, welcome to Blue Harvest Vintage Toys. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how I put this box back together for the mask hurricane. So, this is what the box looks like at the beginning. If you've seen yesterday's video, I got the hurricane and the pieces for the box. So let's put it back together. So first of all, I want to put these two pieces back together. You can see the white line there and that fits up pretty well. So what I've done is I've got one of these, just a bit of cardboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to score it and I'm going to stick it on and see if that actually works. It would be nice if it did, <laughs> but uh, if, uh, if it doesn't, then you won't see this video. <laughs> so there you go, that's scored, bend it over. It's only thing card, but it's uh, strong enough. Now what you should do really, to be honest with you, is make an indentation into the uh, into the card. But as you can see, it's already got a fold there. So it's going to be quite difficult to do that. So what we need to do is place it perfectly. There, and then glue it obviously. A uh, bit of an overlap which I'll cut off afterwards. That's me and my um, measuring, unfortunately. <laughs> As I say, I'm not a fixing channel really. But the, what I'm using here is uh, PVA glue, wood glue basically. So, what I'm going to do. To that to the end, on to that's going to stick to there. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try get that to right to the edge as much as I can. And so, wait for that to dry. So, we get that right to the edge, there won't be that much of a bend. So I'm going to wait for that to dry and that will stick to there then. Put glue. Right, let's come match these two up now. So that goes that way. Right, now we're cooking with gas. Look at that. Yep. So, bear with me. <laughs> Well, I uh, stick this down. No, I'm not proficient in doing things like this. I'm learning. And uh, anything I'm teaching you, but I'm not. I'm learning myself, as I'm showing you. I'm not a toy polloi. I'd never be a toy polloi. I don't really want to fix things the way he does, to be honest with you. Oops, the wrong way around. See what I mean? That's for not concentrating. I'm not um, never going to be that. I'm 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 a toy channel. That's what I am. I like to tell people about toys. I'll never be a toy fixer. Um, although I did I did fix a lot of toys in the shop when I had my shop, but um, I'll never. Be something like a toy pulley. Toy pulley is just basically a toy fixing channel, which is well and good, but um, for me, I just want to talk about toys all the time. And do videos like this, yeah, do videos like this. Uh, 
Yeah, that fits on there then. So that fits uh, like that. It's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But um, I'm just going to cut this bit off the end that cut in the box. So there you go, you've got a perfect, perfect edge there. So I'll put those to one side. So glue this bit. Catch up, I've got plenty of glue. I also wonder whether to put the flap on before I actually put the box together. Might be the best way of doing things. Now, I should really fit that together like so. And then bend it. So, and glue that down. That yeah, looks not bad. It's just when we bend it, that's uh, that's where the problem's going to lie. I'm afraid because it's going to bend at the the cut instead of the bend. If you know what I mean. So put that on side to dry again, and we'll go back to the other one. Okay. Don't need to glue to the to this. Uh, Cutting board, bit of cardboard, I don't know. That, um, and glue this bit here. So you get the general idea. It's just a bit of cardboard support for the rest of the box, basically. that down quite a bit let it uh, get the residue off could do we um, getting some weights actually weighting it down but I'm just rushing through this to be honest with you so I'm just going to uh, let that dry for a bit. I'm sure it's all. Um... So I'm just wondering which side this actually goes on. Because there will have been a flap either that side. I think I think it will have been that side because uh, that looks like it might fit. Yeah. I've uh, found where it fits, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this one onto there. So basically I could put the box together and put this on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this onto the box before I put it all together. So I'm not destroying the box. There you go. Get close to the edge as you can. As you can see the, the fold there. See the fold? Which uh, is unfortunate really. I'm going to have to make, it, make sure it goes the right way. <laughs> so what I'll do is, I'll try and get that on now. I'll wait for the other bit to... You can see that fits on pretty well there. So what I'm going to do is going to let that set as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm not. A, I'm not. A, 
never going to be a fixing channel. I like to fix stuff. I like to show if I, if I've got things some things to fix. I thought I might as well do a video on it. I might as well. And you could you could easily put you could put sellotape on it, but I hate sellotape. It's essential, I know. It's essential, but not on cardboard. Not on a vintage vintage box like this. I could have put sellotape on the inside. It probably wouldn't have known any different. It probably been a lot stronger than what I've done, to be honest with you. But it's sellotape does not last. It goes yellow. It falls off, and the box will fall apart. So hopefully, me me by doing this. I'll have um, secured this box for a while. I'm hoping, anyway. Now, I've got to try and put one on that side. One on that side and get that all stuck together. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to be the main task, I'm afraid. And then folding it all together and opening, hoping it doesn't uh, it doesn't fall apart. So here goes. So make sure I've got it lined up actually. Because you never know. Um, let's turn that over. I need to get it lined up perfectly. And I've tested it and it does it does line up. There you go. That lines up there. And that top bit lines up there. So what I'll do is I'll do that bit first. See when it folds, when it's it's gonna fold at that at the cut and not. So that's why I'm hoping it's uh, it sticks and doesn't uh, doesn't break once I try to fold it all back together. But we can uh, wait and hope, can't we? Basically. Now this needs to be perfect. This needs to be absolutely perfect, unfortunately. So the, the fold in the now it's difficult whether to do it on the cut or to do it on the fold. I'll do it on the cut, and then. Uh, we'll, uh, See what happens. Get this lined up absolutely perfectly. Or else we're buggered. It's not uh, it needs to go on there, that is going there. And hopefully that is gonna uh, be on the on the uh, on the fold. Again I, I could do with some weights to put on it. To hold it down but uh, it's quick quick drying glow it's not too bad let's just try and fold that that's not too bad at all quite happy with that but again it's gonna it's gonna fold on the cut so it's gonna it's not gonna look perfect unfortunately which I'm, uh, I'm prepared for all right there you go now what we need to do now is fold it all together, get one of these on that side, one on that side. What I'm going to do, because it's, it's cut at this side, part of that is on that, for that side. So I could really do with gluing that there. It's just... Difficult to do really, but uh, I'll try my best. 
That's all I can do. It's gonna look better than it, <laughs> it did. Put it that way. I'm gonna put this on the on the uh, on the fold, you know, because I think it should be all right. Thinks. Yeah, there you go. On the cut. On the fold. Sorry, not the cut. Beggar's belief, really, why, firstly, why why you would cut the box into bits. Maybe he had it on display, um, but then keep it as well. I have a forethought to keep it, but cut it. Again, it's probably probably for display. As you can see there, I've, I've left the bit out that's on the fold. So I'm going to glue that bit, hopefully, it'll fold over now. That bit glued there. This a moment of truth. Oops, that didn't sound too good, but uh, never mind. So if I put that on there, and glue that down, so you can see what I mean there, it's joining, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that bit, and I'm quite hopeful at the moment that it looks um, not too shabby. I'm hoping you're enjoying the. <laughs> I mean, it might be pretty boring, and I hope you do watch the whole way through because that's what really helps this channel. Um, the length of time you're actually watching, so I, I need to keep you uh, entertained. <laughs> Which um, I hope, I hope you, uh, hope you appreciate. Hope you appreciate. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, this is a kind of video that I like to watch. So, <laughs> so I'm just th I'm just thinking, if I like to watch it, maybe other people will like to watch it too. Again, that's not sticking down properly, but um, oh dear me, I'm trying to get it's like a jigsaw puzzle basically. But uh, to be honest with you. I think that looks pretty pretty good. If I do say so myself. Just need that to stick down. I might to put uh, just hold it a bit longer. And we'll just uh, just make sure it sticks. So your boxes I don't class as reproduction. I mean this isn't reproduction, this is original, it's just been fixed. So I wouldn't do anything too drastic, especially with some of these vintage Star Wars figures, because um, I'm a collector, basically. I'm like you, I'm a, just a collector. Just trying to trim that bit off there. I won't get it too off, because it's uh, quite overlapping. So I might leave it, actually. I'm going to leave that, to be honest with you. So let's just fold this uh, last bit over. It's not going to fit snuggling to the box because, because there's no flap on the end of it. You can see there's no there's no flap there. But um, it does look really cool actually. Let's bend it. I bend it into the box so it's got a good bend on it and it'll stay relatively well in the box so from that end from that end um, it's like a complete box so 
there you go, that's built. So there you go, one built box. That looks fantastic. I think you might agree with me. Obviously, it hasn't got a flat back side. But it's got the instructions. Instructions can go in the box now. That could go on display. Probably that way. <laughs> but there you go. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you uh, liking my channel and watching these videos. Thank you for watching. I'm the toys. Be with you.